Celebrations just beginning in Aiken across the river today. The Center for African American History, Art and Culture opened their doors to the community for a week long celebration. Organizers telling our Alyssa Lyons events like these serve as a reminder of how much we can learn about our history. The building that houses the Center for African American History, Art and Culture is almost as old as the day that we now know as a federal holiday. It was built back in the late 1800s. Today, the writing on the door says we're open on the walls. It says remember. Well, all pictures, that's what they do. It does tell a story. Single stitches woven in time. We definitely was spiritual people. To tell the stories of those before. That's beautiful. That's what I need, serenity. I let it go. Oh my God. To those now. This is all so much to me because I'm not from here. Juneteenth is a day Catherine Isaac circles. I'm just glad that they have a space for us to come and know our heritage and we need to learn our culture. We need to be uh, more proactive in learning for ourselves because nobody's going to tell us. We have to get that for ourselves. I, I hope that people carry the spirit of freedom and with them that this building symbolizes and that the day symbolizes. Freedom is for everyone. But for a time, it wasn't. It's a door of no return because they said if you got there, you know you weren't coming back. We have to keep fighting because somebody will try to keep us down, but we have to keep fighting. Change starts here. There is so much that is working against freedom and against knowing the full and complete history of this country. Free at last, and free at last. Thank God Almighty we are free at last. And Aiken, Alyssa Lyons on your side. And again, this exhibit is going on all week long, so feel free to stop by in the Center for African American History, Art and Culture, along with the city of Aiken, plan to cap off their Juneteenth celebration Saturday at Founders Park. And you can find out a lot more about those events on our homepage, wrdw.com.